Thank you very much, Senator Corbett, and thanks for your leadership here in San Leandro and in Sacramento. Nice to know more folks outside of the area will start pronouncing our city's name correctly, now that you are the Senate Majority Leader. Four years ago at this time, we asked for your help with finance. <laughs> That's not an option today. So instead, I'd like to ask you and everyone else to embrace hope. <laughs> Did you know you can Google over 280 acronyms for hope? <laughs> Health opportunities for people everywhere. Hands-on parenting for excellence. Housing our people economically. Hearing other people's experience. Heal our planet Earth, or help our polluted environment. Helping other people excel. Help organize purposeful education. Help other people exercise. Help open people's eyes. Help others pursue employment or honesty, openness, patience, and effort. But the one that really stands out to me is help other people engage. This is what a success, successful city does. There's a few of these engagers I'd like to thank and recognize tonight. But first, I'd like to thank a couple of people. Number one, David Anderson. Are you still here, David? Who challenged me for the seat representing District 1. He ran an honest campaign, and I appreciate David because he was willing to put himself out there and be a part of the solution rather than whine about the problems. I know David will continue to play an active role in helping improve our city. Martin Capron, Jerry Engler, and Capron. I know Martin was here earlier. Jenny is here representing Jerry. Come on. And the Measure M campaign team. Their engagement will result in what has often been thought of as a lost cause, the renovation of Burrell Field and the high school pool. Alice Bicker was here earlier, but I want to thank her for her kindness and support of San Leandro and her campaign for health care equity. My wife, Gail, who is here, who I was lucky to engage over 32 years ago and who shares my passion for San Leandro and her dedication to parent education. And my children, Sean and Olivia, who encouraged me with enthusiasm and gave me my distinguished gray hair. <laughs> On education, hats off to our two school superintendents. Yeah, we're blessed in San Diego. We have not one, but two. Dennis Bias and Cindy Cathy. At a recent chamber-sponsored event, San Leandro by Design, Cindy described the efforts the district is making to help the community and prepare our kids for life beyond K-12 whether it's college or the workplace. She described how you can engage. One, be a caring adult. Two, mentor or tutor a student. Three, offer internships or provide job shadowing. Four, participate in a career day. Five, adopt a library, don't eat money. Public safety, I also learned to bring water. <laughs> At this time, a couple years ago, San Leandro restaurants were besieged with a series of strong arm robberies. Connie Stevens got to work and engaged a group called Citizens for Safer San Leandro. The city coffers allowed council members to donate to groups that had 501.3 tax status or were already qualified to receive funds. Connie's group satisfied the requirements and I donated seed money to help the group. The group has worked to install security lighting in various neighborhoods and advocate for neighborhood watch and community resilience. And by the way, San Leandro PD caught the bad guys. Wayne Gregory, was here earlier? There he is. Recently launched an initiative to develop a database and simple method to report suspicious behavior by emailing license plate numbers to the police. Looks like this. As the new president of the Bayo Vista Homeowners Association, he's engaging residents to host driveway socials in their neighborhoods by dispersing association, association funds, say 50 bucks, 
to offset the cost of refreshments. Feed them and they will come. Health and community fitness. Four years ago, I attempted to engage Sam Andrew in the battle against obesity. Did you know that diabetes management costs are now a single digit percentage of our nation's multi-trillion dollar GNP? One of the easiest things you can do is be aware that our food and beverages are filled with high fructose corn syrup. And as a reminder, courtesy of Alameda County Public Health Department, I've got something for you tonight. I need those stockings back. <laughs> I've met my mother-in-law, and she will kill me <laughs> if I don't bring this back. And by the way, she came with the engagement. <laughs> Safe routes to schools. Many of you know about my passion for bicycling. Allow me to shed some light on this. With help from our county supervisor, we were able to engage a half-time FTE devoted to supporting safe routes to schools in San Leandro. We've got four elementary schools on board and, and with the program, and the high school will get attention next year. There are many examples of engagement in San Leandro. Forgive me if I haven't recognized you today, and please continue with your contribution. As Scoop Nisker said in the 1960s, oh if you don't like the news, go, go out make and make some <laughs> I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful for San Leandro. We have created a unique place in the East Bay, and the narrative, the story of what we have and what we will be, is being edited right now. In my 25 years here, I've never seen the schools, Chamber of Commerce, and City Poised to collaborate with such enthusiasm and commitment. And I say thank you very much for reelecting me, and I look forward to committing four years of hard work to help improve the city and be open to uh, all of you. Thank you very much.